named after my mother. My old man is another child that's grown old. If dreams were thunder and lightning was desire, this old house would have burned out a long time ago. Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold on to. To believe in this living is just a hard way to go. We bury our deepest desires, but tonight I'm lifting the shame. The shame and guilt carried every day by those who had the support, courage, and determination to make it out, but are too scared, scarred, humiliated, or ashamed to use their own voice. I will use mine. I am the miracle left standing to tell the story. Oh my God, you were homeless? Ew, what was that like? With the deep gasp of one of those really bad teen actors from an 80s after school special, he can't see the shame churning in her guts, the humiliation that lives right behind her eyes. She knows no matter what she says, he'll never comprehend the difference between the two realities that live side by side, how it changed her soul forever. See, children learn early the art of unnoticing, like that little voice that's hushed because he proclaims loudly to his mother, hey, that lady has a mustache. He learns not to notice as he walks face forward past Mike, Afghan vet, asking for change, no fixed address. Or Andrew, friends from high school, lost track somewhere, sleeping on cardboard in the corner. Or Sasha, perpetually looking for children long since dead. Because homelessness is not a game. In a game, you know the game over sign will flash eventually. Sleeping in a park in February where your alarm clock is a 5 a.m. kick from a security guard. Whoa. Coming to care about people whose only way to make it through another day is to work to the bottom of a bottle. Young men who are tired of being told to man up and young women who figured it out. It makes way more sense to sell it than to give it away for free. See, humans are the same with or without a warm place to sleep. Being homeless does not deafen the ears of the desperate panhandler to the change we jingle in our pockets as we walk by. Their need to know they matter to someone, anyone. They are not irrelevant. See, these are the consciously forgotten pieces of our species. Mocked and lonely, discarded and ignored, our very own human landfill. Aren't you proud? So do me a favor. Stop looking away. Everyone was some woman's baby. And hope is fragile. Our souls are not disposable. Did you hear me? Our souls are not disposable. So all of us on this spinning ball of dirt and water together, we have a choice. Unlearn the apathy and arbitrary divisions that are drilled into our heads. Notice the cracks, the shit that's so painful or daunting we turn away in reflex. And remember, please remember, our deepest human desire is just to matter. Woo